Brought to you by wikivd.com Scandal TV series Scandal is an American political thriller television series starring Kerry Washington. Created by Shonda Rhimes it debuted on ABC on April 5, 2012. Kerry Washington's character Olivia Pope is partially based on former George H.W. Bush administration press aide Judy Smith, who serves as a co-executive producer. The show takes place in Washington, D.C., and focuses on Olivia Pope's crisis management firm Olivia Pope, as well as staff at the White House and surrounding political scene, which includes President Fitzgerald Grant III White House Chief of Staff Abigail Whelan, Attorney General David Rose and Vice President Susan Ross, the Vice President's Chief of Staff Elizabeth North X First Lady, and now President-elect Melly Grant NSA Director Jake Ballard, and ex-White House Chief of Staff Cyrus Bean. In addition to Kerry Washington, the show features Guillermo Diaz and Katie Lowe's as assistants at OPA, Tony Goldwyn as the President, Bellamy Young as the ex-First Lady and Senator, and now President of the United States. Jeff Perry as the former White House Chief of Staff. Darby Stanchfield as the White House Press Secretary and current Chief of Staff. Joshua Molina as the Attorney General. Scott Foley as the Director of the NSA. Portia de Rossi as the Vice President's Chief of Staff. Cornelius Smith Jr. as a civil rights activist and associate at OPA, and Joe Morton as Olivia's father and the former head of a spy agency called B613. The show was named a Television Program of the Year by the American Film Institute, received the Peabody Award for Excellence in Television, and was honored as Outstanding Drama Series at the Image Awards. Washington has won the Image Award for Outstanding Actress in a Drama Series, and has been nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Drama Series and a SAG Award for Outstanding Performance by an Actress in a Drama Series. The upcoming seventh season will be the series' last. Season 1 the first season of Scandal introduced Olivia Pope and the various members at her firm. In addition it introduced the President of the United States Fitzgerald Grant III and his Chief of Staff Cyrus Bean. Season 1 focused on the lives of the team members, the relationship between Olivia and the President, and the mystery surrounding Amanda Tanner's involvement with the White House, among other cases the team solved. Season 2 An assassination attempt is made on Fitz's life which almost kills him. As a result Sally takes over as president much to Cyrus's dismay. After surviving Fitz decides to get a divorce, which Melly tries to avoid by somehow convincing her opt-in to induce her labor four weeks early. Huck is arrested for the attempted assassination after being framed by his girlfriend Becky. After David helps Huck go free Huck Olivia and her team trick Becky to show up at the hospital, where she is arrested, Fitz finds out that Verna was behind the assassination and kills her. At the funeral he reveals to Olivia that he does not want a divorce as he is devastated after learning about the rigging. From Verna, the second arc focuses on finding the mole who is leaking classified information. From the White House, Olivia and the team investigate the case after figuring out that the CIA director's suicide was actually a murder. Olivia gets to know Captain Jake Ballard who works with the leader of B613 Rowan, who orders Jake to get close to Olivia. At the end of the season, Melly gives Fitz an ultimatum, either he becomes loyal to her as she goes on national television, and reveals Fitz's affair with Olivia. Fitz chooses Olivia which makes Melly reveal the affair. Fitz announces his re-election campaign, as Olivia and the team continue 
to investigate who the mole is, Huck manages to capture Charlie, who reveals the mole's identity, Billy Chambers. They figure out that Billy is working with David, who steals the Citron card but frames Billy and gives Cyrus the card in exchange for being reinstated as U.S. attorney. At the end Olivia's name is leaked to the press as being Fitz's mistress and it is revealed that Rowan is Olivia's father. Season 3 after Olivia's name is leaked to the press as Fitz's mistress, Olivia Pope, the firm accepts new clients in order to pay the bills. Rowan becomes more involved with Olivia's life which begins to affect her and leads Huck and Jake to investigate B613. They discover during a military action code named Operation Remington. Fitz shot down a civilian aircraft over Iceland and Olivia's mother was one of over 300 casualties. Determined to find out the truth about Operation Remington, the firm investigates Rowan and learns that a passenger was removed from the flight by a federal marshal just prior to take off. Quinn starts to hang out with Charlie who sets her up to kill a security guard who was an eyewitness to the federal marshal's removal of the passenger. As a result of Quinn's inadvertent murder, Huck tortures her and she leaves the firm. Meanwhile, Fitz faces problems when Congresswoman Josephine Josie Marcus is in the running to win the Democratic Party primary against Senator Samuel Reston and become the first female president of the United States. Cyrus tries his best to find dirt on Marcus in order to ruin her campaign but fails. After Olivia finds out that Fitz shot down the plane which killed her mother, she declines the offer of being the campaign manager for Fitz's re-election and becomes the manager for Josephine Marcus's. After an incident with Marcus's sister Josephine backs out of her campaign, the second part of the season focuses more on the re-election campaign as Olivia has taken over as the campaign manager. At the same time Sally announces that she is running for president by being an independent. As a result Fitz chooses the governor of California Andrew Nichols as his new vice presidential running mate. Nichols develops a relationship with the first lady, Melly. The campaign faces problems when Sally, stricken with guilt over murdering Daniel, almost reveals the truth at a debate. Cyrus asks Jake to help protect the secret which he does, by killing James to prevent exposing Cyrus' involvement in the cover-up. The president's eldest children Jerry and Karen Grant come to the White House for, for an interview, but Olivia soon figures out that they aren't pleased with their parents. Season 4 The first half of the season focuses on Jake's arrest for the death of Jerry Grant after Rowan forces Tom to name Jake as the operator. Rowan continues to try to make everyone believe Jake is guilty which inspires Olivia to find out the truth for herself. After forcing Tom to reveal Rowan as his operator, Fitz Jake and Olivia make a plan to arrest Rowan. Unfortunately the plan fails causing Rowan to shut down B613 and start eliminating B613 agents. Olivia tries to kill Rowan when she confronts him, but he manages to flee. Abby is now the White House press secretary and is struggling with gaining the respect of Cyrus and Fitz because they choose to demean her by calling her Red instead of Abby. Later in the season Abby finds herself stressed even more by the presence of her abusive ex-husband who has been nominated for Virginia State Senator, and she enlists Leo Bergen to help ruin his campaign. Quinn has stayed in contact with both Abby and Huck in addition to trying to find Olivia. Melly struggles with the death of her son Jerry. She finally comes to terms with her loss after finding out that Jerry was murdered due to being deliberately exposed to bacterial meningitis rather than contracting the disease naturally and she chooses to form an alliance with Elizabeth North 
Later after having an affair with him Melly discovers the true nature of Nichols who threatens to tell the press about their affair. In the season finale members of a grand jury gathered by David for the B613 case were killed after the initial hearing. OPA and David begin investigating the scene and realize that Rowan was responsible. He also blackmailed Melly into giving the names of the members causing her to feel responsible. Cyrus later finds out the truth but decides not to tell Fitz. After seeking advice from Maya, Olivia and Jake decides to reveal B613 to the CIA but it backfires. They later came up with a plan to frame Rowan for embezzlement of the funds at the museum, he is working at having him imprisoned. Later Fitz finds out the truth about what Melly and Cyrus had done, he orders them to leave the White House. Elizabeth then takes Cyrus's place as the chief of staff. In the last scene he reunites with Olivia. Season 5 On May 7, 2015 ABC renewed Scandal for a fifth season. The show continues to air at 9 p.m. as with the previous season. All of the series regulars would return. After the season finale, it was announced that Portia de Rossi has been promoted to a series regular for season 5. It was later announced that Cornelia Smith Jr., who had a guest role in season 4, would return as a series regular for the fifth season. The writers began working on the fifth season on May 21, 2015 and it premiered on September 24, 2015. Conception and Development In early 2011 it was announced that Shonda Rhimes was developing a new pilot. In February, Kerry Washington was cast in a leading role. Actress Gabrielle Union and Taraji P. Henson auditioned for this role alongside Washington before she was officially chosen. Henry Ian Cusick also landed a role in the series. On February 28, 2011, it was announced that Tony Goldwyn landed the role as the president. In May 2011, ABC picked up the pilot as a mid-season replacement. During the Winter Television Critics Association press tour, it was announced that the show would premiere April 5, 2012 after Grey's Anatomy, relocating private practice to Tuesday nights. The program was renewed for a second season on May 11, 2012 in the same Thursday time slot, while private practice remained in the new Tuesday evening time slot to finish its final season. Rhymes had stated at the time that the second season would likely be 13 episodes or less, but the renewal of the series after the fall meant that the second season would have two arcs. Through the season, the first covering the main 13-episode order with the second arc taking place. During the Bat 9 order, Scandal was renewed for a third season on May 10, 2013. Along with other ABC dramas this season was split into two runs of uninterrupted episodes. The first consisting of 10 episodes. The second run initially set to consist of 12 uninterrupted episodes began on February 27, 2014. On December 7, 2013 ABC Studios announced that due to Kerry Washington's pregnancy the overall episode order would be trimmed from 22 to 18 which led the season finale to air four weeks earlier on April 17, 2014. The show was renewed for a fourth season by ABC on May 9, 2014. On May 13, 2014, ABC announced their new schedule as well as a new time slot for Scandal. The show remained on Thursday night but it was moved to 9 p.m. ET to make room for Shondaland Production Company's new TV series How to Get Away with Murder. In August 2014, ABC programmed its entire Thursday primetime lineup with Shondaland drama's Grey's Anatomy Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder and then branded the night as Thank God It's Thursday.
This echoes ABC's former TGIF branding of its Friday night family sitcoms. And even NBC's must-see TV promotion of formidable Thursday night television hits in the 1990s. The remaining fall schedule for ABC was announced on October 30, 2014, where it was announced that Scandal would air nine episodes in the fall with the fall finale to air on November 20, 2014 just like the rest of ABC's primetime lineup TGIT Grey's Anatomy and How to Get Away with Murder. The remaining 13 episodes aired after the winter break, beginning on January 29, 2015 and ending with a season finale on May 14, 2015. Scandal was renewed for a fifth season on May 7, 2015 by ABC. The series will continue to air, at Thursdays in the time slot 9 p.m. ET like the previous season as it was moved, to the time slot to make room for Shondaland Production Company's new TV series How to Get Away. With Murder, production began on May 21, 2015, when Rhymes announced on Twitter that the writers were in full swing mapping the fifth season. The series was renewed for a sixth season on March 3, 2016 by ABC. Production is scheduled to begin in July confirmed by executive producer Tom Verica, after Kerry Washington announced that she was pregnant again. TV Line reported that ABC is considering moving the show's premiere to mid-season. In addition, the episode order for the sixth season was reduced from 22 to 16 episodes. During ABC's annual Upfront presentation in May it was announced that Scandal will premiere during mid-season following a full run of the new series Notorious. Production began on July 13, 2016 with director and executive producer Tom Verica announcing that the crew was scouting for filming locations. The table read for the premiere was on July 26, 2016 with filming starting soon after. On February 10, 2017, ABC announced that the series had been renewed for a seventh season. On May 10, 2017, ABC announced that the seventh season would be the show's final season. Writing In an interview with showrunner Shonda Rhimes, she revealed that the fourth season would highlight Darby Stanchfield's character Abby Whelan. She said season four is Abby's season. That was by design. A lot of what we know about Abby happens this season. Rhymes also confirmed the speculation about the fate of the character Harrison Wright, who she confirmed was killed. She said that all the people at OPA will cope in different ways. To Harrison's death Olivia the hardest. Rhymes said it will be very devastating. For Abby in a surprising way. You'll see how S.H.E.S. coping with it in a very different way. Than you would expect. Olivia will deal with her betrayal to everyone she left behind. When she hears about the fate of Harrison. The betrayals changed everyone permanently. And Olivia will have to deal with it. Shonda Rhimes stated that the fourth season will focus more on the core characters as opposed to the third season where more characters were introduced. Rhimes explained why Kerry Washington couldn't work 14 hours a day so we had to tell our story in a different way, and that necessitated other people both picking up the slack in beautiful ways. Shonda Rhimes said in an interview that the fifth season will begin only a few days after the events in the fourth season finale. She stated that the fifth season will see Olivia and fits the only people standing in a single piece as she said. The world had been fairly blown apart for everybody except Olivia and Fitz. Everybody else was in a fairly blown apart place. We pick up right there in that environment and we see what happens next. Rhymes continued talking about Cyrus and Melly, and their situation of not being in the White House anymore. Rhymes also confirmed that the reconstitution of Team OPA would happen in the fifth season. 
as Rhymes revealed in an interview with TV Line. As she explained that the gladiator conceit was sidelined a bit in the fourth season to instead healing Olivia, she noted that a lot of times it was just Huck and Quinn gladiating by themselves, and that wasn't the same dynamic. When talking about the presidential campaign storyline in the show, showrunner Shonda Rhimes talked to The Hollywood Reporter about the character Fitzgerald Thomas Grant III not being president anymore. She said, I can't tell you any of that, but there is a plan. Tony is not going anywhere. Where would he go? Other cast members spoke their opinion about Grant's next arc without the presidency. Tony Goldwyn, the actor playing Fitz, commented he'll be much happier as the post-president than as the president. Jeff Perry playing Cyrus Bean said that I'd love our show to invent a great role for a president after HES out-out office that would reverberate back to the real world. Executive producer Betsy Beers voiced her excitement about the character doing anything he wanted. Other cast members compared Fitz's next move with former U.S. Presidents Jimmy Carter and Bill Clinton. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Rhymes talked about the presidential election and its factor into the sixth season. She said that it would in both ways adding that, we are basically going to start our season on election night. Yes, it is going to play into our season, but we're not going to spend our time playing an election. Casting The first season had nine roles receiving star billing. Kerry Washington, with her role as protagonist of the series Olivia Pope, a former White House director of communications with her own crisis management firm. Columbus Short played the character Harrison Wright, while Darby Stunchfield played Abby Whelan, who begins a relationship with David Rosen. Katie Lowe's acted as Quinn Perkins, and Guillermo Diaz played the character Hurt, the troubled tech guy who works for Olivia. Jeff Perry played Cyrus Bean, the chief of staff at the White House. Joshua Molina played David Rosen, the U.S. attorney who develops a relationship with Abby. Bellamy Young as First Lady Melody Melly Grant. While Tony Goldwyn portrayed President Fitzgerald Fitz Thomas Grant III, several casting changes occurred for the second season. Henry Ian Cusick exited the show and did not return as his character Stephen Finch for the second season as the actor and showrunner Shonda Rhimes came to the mutual decision for him not to come back. For the second year, both Bellamy Young as First Lady of the United States and Joshua Molina as David Rosen were bumped up to series regulars. On June 14, 2013 Scott Foley was promoted to regular as of the third season. Casting for Lisa Kudrow was announced on August 28 and was revealed to be playing Congresswoman Josephine Marcus for multiple episodes. Private practice Alan Paul Adelstein was announced to join the cast as Leo Bergen, however. At the time of the announcement details on who he would play were kept under wraps. On September 23, 2013, it was announced that Sally Pressman would be playing a recurring role on the show, which turned out to be the sister of Congresswoman Josephine Marcus played by Lisa Kudrow. Jack Coleman joined the cast in a recurring role as Daniel Douglas, the husband, to Vice President Sally Langston. On November 5, 2013, Candy Alexander was cast in a recurring role as Olivia's mother for a multiple episode arc. On December 3, 2013, it was announced that the show was casting for a new role as a handsome charismatic fella named Andrew who would be a love interest for Bellamy Young's character Melly. A few days later on December 6, 2013 actor John Tenney was announced to have landed the role of Andrew. On January 28, 2014, it was announced that Scandal was casting the guest-starring roles of Jerry Grant and Karen Grant. Tony Goldwyn and Bellamy Young's character's children a week later on February 6, 2014.
It was reported that the guest-starring roles of Jerry and Karen had been landed by Dylan Minnette and Madeline Carroll. The duo appeared in the 15th episode in addition to the season finale. On April 25, 2014 it was announced that Columbus Short would not return for the fourth season due to personal reasons. In an interview with the show's creator Shonda Rhimes, she revealed that Short's character Harrison Wright would be killed off. Television host Ellen DeGeneres revealed on Twitter that her wife Portia de Rossi was cast in a multiple-episode top-secret arc. Several guest stars were announced to be cast. On July 30, 2014 Kellen Coleman was reported to appear in the season 4 premiere. On August 12, 2014 Mary McCormick and Josh Randall were announced to appear on the show as a couple, which aired as part of the season's second episode. Lost alum Sonia Walger was announced to appear on the show in a recurring role on August 18, 2014. On August 22, 2014, Entertainment Weekly announced that Matthew Del Negro will play a recurring role. It was announced that the role of Karen Grant, one of the Grant family's children, would be recast. On September 5, 2014, Mary Mauser was reported to take over the role. The actress Jashika Nicole was announced to return as Huck's estranged wife for the fourth season on October 17, 2014, appearing first in the fifth episode of the season. Stephen Collins announced on Twitter that he would be returning to Scandal for an episode. However, after a news scandal about sexual abuse allegations towards Collins, the actor was cut out of the episode per ABC's request. Two alums from the Shondaland-produced television show Private Practice were announced to appear in the season. Brian Benburn was announced on September 16, 2014 to have landed a guest-starring role for the season. Paul Adelstein was announced to return as Leo Bergen on the show in an episode which would air in November. It was reported on October 21, 2014 that Michael Trucco was cast as Charles Putney, Abby's abusive ex-husband. Information about his character was that he is the youngest son of former Virginia Gov. James Putney, and the ex-husband of Abby Whelan after he physically assaulted her in a drunken rage. He will appear in at least one episode of the fourth season. On November 4, 2014, it was announced that Candy Alexander is going to return as Maya Lewis in the winter finale. Alexander's role was initially meant for only one episode as a guest star but was upgraded to recurring on November 14, 2014. Jason Butlerhana was cast for the show in a recurring role and first appeared in the winter premiere playing Ian Woods. On February 20, 2015, it was reported that comedian Lena Dunham had been cast in an unknown guest role and will appear in the 16th episode. She ultimately portrayed Suzanne Thomas, a young woman who writes a scandalous memoir about some of DC's top politicians. It was announced on February 4, 2016 that Ricardo Chavira would join the show in a recurring role and would first appear in the 11th episode. Anna Bethkish was announced on February 8, 2016, to have been cast in a recurring role. The Hollywood Reporter announced on February 18, 2016, that Joe Morton who plays Rowan Eli Pope had been promoted to a series regular, and was credited as a regular cast member for the first time in the 12th episode of season 5. TV Line announced on August 6, 2016, that Glee alum Jessalyn Gilsig will replace Joel Carter as Vanessa Moss, Jake Ballard's wife. TV Line announced on May 15, 2017 that George Newbern, who plays Charlie, is being promoted to a main cast member for season 7 after having appeared in over 50 episodes as a recurring cast member. Filming Production started at the beginning of July as Rhymes tweeted that the writers were hard 
at work collaborating ideas and mapping out the fourth season. Scouting for the season began a few days later. The table read for the first episode was on July 24, 2014, and Rhymes revealed the title of the premiere the same day. Filming for the fourth season began on July 28, 2014 and ended on April 28, 2015. Scouting began in the beginning of July. The table read for the first episode was announced on Occur on July 14, 2015 by Kerry Washington. The title of the season premiere Heavy as the Head was revealed on August 8, 2015 by its director Tom Vericker on Twitter. Filming for the season began on July 16, 2015. Several actors working on Shondaland produced shows directed an episode for the fifth season. Tony Goldwyn from Scandal directed the second and seventeenth episode making it the fourth and fifth episode he has directed on the show. Chandra Wilson, who plays Dr. Miranda Bailey on Grey's Anatomy directed her first Scandal episode which was the sixth episode, Get Out of Jail Free. Scott Foley from Scandal also directed his first Scandal episode the 16th named The Miseducation of Susan Ross. Foley's director debut was announced on Twitter by Foley himself and executive producer Tom Verica. Critical Reception The show has been met with generally favorable reviews, with a collective score of 64 one hundredths based on 28 critics from Metacritic. Based on advanced screeners sent before the show's premiere, Alan Seppin will have hit fix stated, to be perfectly honest after watching four episodes of Scandal. I'm not 100% clear on what it is that Olivia and her team do, nor on exactly what the show is. I'm also not entirely sure that it matters. Scandal is a good example of what a show is about being far less important than how it's about it. IndieWire, a daily news site, reviewed the first season of Scandal comparing it to the FX show Damages, stating that the premise was similar and that Damages is a hell of a show and worthy of all the accolades, but it's what Scandal could be if the envelope was pushed a bit more and if the show took more risks. Newsday's Vern Gay called the series fun but added, all the tropes cliches and soap conventions series creator Shonda Rhimes has poured so generously into Grey's Anatomy, and private practice over the years have been poured right back into this Beltway pot boiler. The hairpin plot twists, the whiplash character reveals, the bumptious moralizing, the strong woman, wrong woman character type and its direct corollary weak middle-aged married man who secretly likes hookers. It's all here. The show, however, received many more positive reviews during its second season. The AV Club's Ryan McGee compared to the show to House of Cards, stating, Scandal has quite a bit to say about how people in general operate. By extension, it also has a lot to say about the type of television people respond to in this ever-splintered viewing environment. In a year in which almost all ratings are down, Scandal has gone up. It's insane storytelling really isn't insane at all. Many want to dub House of Cards the future of television as a whole. In terms of distribution, this may be true, but by giving audiences what they want and then giving them so much more than they ever expected, Scandal is the show those looking toward the future of television should be aiming to actually produce regardless of the medium in which it is viewed. Alan Seppin will have hit fix also changed his stance when Scandal debuted last spring. I wasn't sure what to make of it beyond recognizing that Kerry Washington had the goods to carry a series and Shonda Rhimes had fashioned an excellent role for her. This season though, Rhimes has kicked the show up to another level by ditching the crisis of the week procedural format in favor of reinventing Scandal as a gonzo hybrid of conspiracy thriller and high-stakes soap opera involving election rigging. 
a presidential assassination attempt a failed internal White House coup, and all sorts of other crazy shenanigans. It's ludicrous on virtually every level. It's also an enormous amount of fun thanks to the writing and the performances. Ratings In 2016 a New York Times study of the 50 TV shows with the most Facebook likes found that scandal displays the classic pattern of a show popular with a black audience. Ratings grew significantly, over the second season reaching a series high, with the season finale which increased 25% in total viewers and 39% in adult 18-49 compared to the first season's finale. The season 3 premiere had 10.5 million total viewers up 71%. From last season's start in September 2012, the season finale had 10.5 million total viewers up 15%. From last season's finale in May 2013, the third season had an average of 11.5 million in total viewers up 39%. From the second season which had a total of 8.3 million. It also went up in adults 1849 with 43%, with an average of 4.012 while the previous season had a 2.88. This qualifies Scandal as TV's fastest growing returning series. The fourth season premiere also scored a series high in total viewers with 11.96 millions and in adults 1849 with a 3.811. The series was its ratings increase from week to week compared to its broadcasting last year. The mid-season premiere run was equaled the series' second highest ever rating in adults 1849. The fourth season saw a decrease in the 1849 key demographic by 5.4% to a 2.9 but an increase in total viewers by 0.86% with an average of 9.19 million viewers. Social media Scandal is one of the most popular shows on social media. The cast tweets with their fans when the show is airing on television. During the season 3 premiere, the show topped Nielsen's Twitter TV ratings top 10 with 713,000 tweets that mentioned the show and were seen by an audience of 3.7 million users. The show has also the most loyal Twitter followers according to Nielsen Social. Accolades Scandal has been acknowledged by the Alma Awards, Image Awards, Bet Awards, Emmy Awards. Screen Actors Guild Awards, Golden Globe Awards, Critics' Choice Awards, Teen Choice Awards, and People's Choice Awards as well as honored by the American Film Institute and the Peabody Awards. Kerry Washington Columbus, Short Guillermo Diaz, Bellamy Young, and Tony Goldwyn have been recognized for their performances. The production team has been honored by the Costume Designers Guild Society of Camera Operators BMI Awards and the California On Location Awards. Broadcasts In the United States Scandal airs on ABC on Thursday nights at 9 p.m. 8 p.m. court. The program airs, at the same time in Canada through the city television system with sim subbing of the ABC feed. The series airs in Australia on the Seven Network with reruns airing on Soho, Canal Sony in Latin America ZFB TV in Bermuda Miami's WPLG in the Bahamas, and on TVB Pearl in Hong Kong. The first two season originally aired on Channel 4 in the United Kingdom. In 2014 the show was picked up by rival broadcaster Sky Living who will continue from season 3 onwards. In New Zealand it first aired on TV1 but now airs on TV2. It airs in South Africa on multiple television channels. First run episodes are aired on DSTV Premium Channel Mnet which airs the latest episode a day after its US airing followed by episodes on rival satellite channel Star Sat and Free TV Channel 
SABC3 since May 2014. On both Mnet and SABC3 the show is retitled as The Fixer Due to a locally originated soap named Scandal, already carrying the show's title on another television channel as to not confuse viewers across rival channels. In Jamaica Scandal airs on CVM-TV cable syndication. On July 15, 2013 Bet and ABC announced an early syndication agreement which saw Bet carrying a marathon of the first two seasons on August 10 and 17, 2013, then in two-hour blocks on Wednesdays before the show's season three premiere on October 3. Bet airs new episodes after an eight-day delay. DVD releases and online availability the series DVD releases currently consist of the first, second seasons and third seasons, and were released by Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment under the ABC Studios label. Additionally Netflix currently streams seasons 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in the US and Canada. The fifth season is also streaming on Hulu with new episodes airing every Friday. The show is available via traditional by-episode purchase by most online video retailers, including iTunes. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?